Shabbat Shalom. According to tradition, we were all there at Mount Sinai. At the crowning moment when God reveals God's self to the people of Israel, not only were the newly released slaves present, but also each and every one of us. All of future generations of the Jewish people were in attendance. Twice each year, we stand in synagogue as the Ten Commandments are chanted. I try to imagine myself standing with the multitude at the foot of Mount Sinai. There was a crush of people around us. We were frightened. We were in awe. As the morning sun dawns uh, over the mountaintop, there is thunder and lightning. The shofar blasts make us tremble. Mount Sinai we see is covered in smoke. The whole mountain is trembling violently and the voice of God is heard. Some of us hear God's voice declaring all ten of the commandments. The divine utterances, others, according to tradition, hear God say just the first syllable, the first sound, and then they hear Moses recite the rest of the commandments. The divine words ring out. I am Adonai who brought you out of the land of Egypt. You shall have no other gods beside me. You shall not swear falsely. Remember Shabbat. Honor your father and mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not covet. The Ten Commandments are pretty mundane on the surface level. They tell us to do the things that all people should just do because they're the right thing to do. But as Moses learned from his father-in-law in this week's Torah portion, we all have the ability to build community, to share leadership, and to walk together. And we're not truly able to be our best selves when we try to do everything by ourselves. Alone at Sinai, we are struck down by lightning in our smallness. Together at Sinai, we are humbled but united in a bold, albeit certain, holy mission to repair the world. According to tradition, according to Torah, there was no hesitation, there was no dissent, there was no debate, there was no discussion on what was to be the most important decision in our lives in this week's Torah portion to receive the Ten Commandments. Rather, all of us replied, all that the Lord has spoken, we will do. So keep doing it. Shabbat Shalom.